coming in now with me. Mr. Dick Buckus. Mr. Buckus, how you doing today, I'm sir? Doing good. Grab your microphone here. All right, guys. You guys know who this is. Here you are, sir. How you doing today? I'm doing well. <laughs> <laughs> haven't started yet, but looking Let's see good. Here we go. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on with us, man. Um, I just want to ask you a couple quick questions, man. A couple of years ago, uh, you did uh, coaching high school football, man. How is that different from what you guys are normally used to? And I wanted to ask you about your uh, play clean campaign as well, man. I coached middle school ball for a while, man. I just I think that's awesome, man. You know, I got a young kid involved in sports right now too, so. Well, that's that's where it all came about uh, when I was doing that high school show there in uh, Montour High School and uh, some, of the, some of the players are talking and uh, saying like something like that school was nicknamed Heroin High. Oh jeez. You know they, they were they had a new coach and you know it was it was just it was a tough deal but so I, when I went back home I was talking to my son I said you know maybe we got to do something about this you know the steroids and so he came up with the idea and the name I play clean and so uh, we started the foundation about eight or nine years ago it's a very difficult sell ah uh, yeah yeah I, I mean, bet it is not, if you're not a parent of a young athlete they really don't give a damn <laughs> I mean really I mean I was doing uh, signings in Vegas like 15 days a month and uh, it's for the foundation to help raise some funds and uh some of the people just, hey, I like to see them take it. I like to see home runs. I said, well, what about the people? Have you talked to the parents like I have of over two dozen parents that I know oh. that lost their kid to suicide coming off that crap? <laughs> what, what do you mean you like to see them hit home runs? And uh, I just can't believe it, you know. And so it's it's been a tough road. We got to, you know, it's tough to get corporate sponsors uh, for whatever reason. Uh, so that along with, you know, we want to take the kids from like high school, teach them the right thing. You eat right, you train hard, and right. good attitude. Okay, that should carry over until you're a young adult. And then I also had a, a wellness center in, in California. Yeah, the cardiovascular center, man. My dad actually had a, a, a valve replaced uh, back in January. So really? when I saw that, man, that was a, it was a scary time for us, man. He's doing well, though. He's exactly. doing really well. See, and, and how it happened to me is like, you know, when you play in high school, you play in college, mm -hmm. you play in the pros, you're always taken care of. Right, right. When you retire, you're thinking you're all world, you know, I, and nothing bothers me. I don't feel sick. And <laughs> I go do this scan, the next thing you know, I got a five-way bypass. Oh, jeez, man. I mean, geez, I three man. days to go. So what we did, we uh, incorporated that into our the Butkus Foundation, and we, we give free scans for all returning military people, and then now we're... We've done uh, a lot of the NFL players in Southern California, did some Hall of Famers in Chicago, but our goal is to get the NFL involved, but have a, a facility in every city and get the people, the fans, you know, fans watching the NFL or baseball. Right. I mean, the people are sitting at home watching it, they don't maybe have a real big steroid problem. Right, exactly. But they do have, have the health issues. Have, have heart issues. Because <laughs> heart disease is the leading killer of men and women right so we're shooting for where we'd like to get the nfl involved around draft time okay and you know like they have the pink uh right pink, right right for baseball let's, and let's, everything let's like that this issue uh take heart uh during the draft because that has gotten so big it has and it say has. hey these athletes are getting tested all the time you know right all the combines <laughs> and the jumping and this 40 yard dash why don't you fans get checked? Maybe right. it's time for you guys to get a checkup. And it's like my cardiologist said, you know, for 200 bucks to get a scan is like a mammogram of your heart. So uh, that's that's kind of the issue we're going. So we want to take kids, teach them how to eat right, and stay away from the you know steroids because you know let's be realistic. How many are really going to end up in the pros? Right. When you start looking you know? at those numbers, man, I mean, your odds of making it you right. know decreases it's, higher it's, up as you get. It's it's good to have them play though. You know, encourage them to play at least in high school and mm -hmm. and get the benefits of playing on a team and in sports and you know knowing what it takes to strive for a goal. And right. Work hard. And sometimes you don't get to play, but you know you know what it's all about, and that's going to help you later in life. So, uh, 
we'll see what happens. And how you doing, man? You doing all right? You said you had the doing five. All right. I, you feeling you feeling know, pretty good. <laughs> I got this thing called neuropathy where it's tough to do like a toe raise. Right. So it's kind of hard to walk <laughs> a long distance. <laughs> People like. <laughs> and I trip sometimes, and my grandson's like, what? what are you drinking? Or man, what? I can't believe that, man. I was telling guys last night, man, you know, with, with the whole NFL thing and stuff like that, you know, growing up as a kid, man, I played nose guard. You know, I'm a 5'7 nose guard in high school. Oh, and uh, we used to watch on Thursday nights, we used to watch the NFL Crunch Course, and they had this season. There was just one part, man, with you in it, and it, it was just, oh, man, it always got us going, man. I mean, you were an outstanding, outstanding player, man. It's good to know that you're doing other things, though, too. Yeah. Now, how active are you when it comes time for the Buckets Award? Do you have a, a lot of say-so in, in who gets no, picked? You know, I know Hendricks you know, won it this past year. Yeah, you, you know why? Because I don't uh, – back when it very, uh, we started, uh, I was doing beer broadcasts. Right. So on Saturdays, I would have to fly out from okay. LA to wherever they were playing. So – I got nothing to do with selection committees or okay. anything like that. Okay. But I, back then, but when we took the, the award over, uh, eight, going on nine years ago, so I talked to Hub Arkush, who published Pro Football Weekly, and I did radio with him. With okay. The so I said, Hub, if, if and when I get control of my own award, I want you to come up with 51 selectors. You know, okay. That you know. Maybe there's some scouts that are really good scouts that never get any kudos about picking players uh -huh. you know, I want them general managers you know coaches so we got I think and what gave me that idea is one time I heard some sports guy said well you know he's he's inundated with all these all-american teams <laughs> and that, that he let his wife vote oh and geez. I nearly dropped the I bet I said, Are you kidding me? <laughs> so I said you know that's not going to happen with us right and, so far, those guys have been pretty right on. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm a Penn State guy. You know, yeah. I mean, I got my shirt on today. I know that you're a Big Ten guy as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I yeah, always well, like let's, to. Let's, let's not have your people at Penn State. If their guy doesn't make the semifinals, <laughs> everybody sends hate mail to the foundation. No, man, I'm not like that. Guy. Look, man, you know, especially this last right, year, man, that, that kid on. that kid from UCLA earned it, man. He, he was did. an absolute and, beast. And he was under the cover, and, and, you know, he didn't even make first team back then. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just what, crazy, man. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's exact proof of how some of these selection guys are getting. Unreal. I know the video that was actually posted when uh, when he found out that he actually won well, it, see, man, that was, that was thing. unreal. We, unreal. We go... To, the, to them. Mm -hmm. We don't have the banquet. Uh, I just think that is, you know, who are you celebrating it with? Because I've got a, a photograph at home I still have in my office of me in the high school winning the Chicago Sun-Times Player of the Year Award. Right. And my coach was there in my house with my parents. Right. The and important I see people. my brothers in the background <laughs> peeking. And, you know, I, I, I'm looking at it, and I still have that. And I'm thinking about that. I said, you know what? I'm going to do that. We get a crew. And, of course, you know, we didn't have all that much money. And so our first winner is Manti Teo. we got to go to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we got to go to Wake Forest from Aaron Curry. Yeah, Aaron I mean, Curry like, won it a couple years ago, too, man. To surprise them. And then, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, the athletic directors and the coaches really keep it a secret, and their mm -hmm. families are hiding in the background. Right. How are you, you going to beat that with a banquet? Yeah, man, that's you know? awesome, man. That's awesome. So what we're doing is if we can get some uh, get some good sponsorship, we're going to, you know, have, like, uh, all the guys back in a golf tournament or whatever. Nice. So we, my son keeps in contact with a lot of them, so. I appreciate it, man. Well, look, man, I'm going to go ahead exactly and I'm not going to keep See, it. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I've been laying laying around the house for a long time. This is the first time I got out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I appreciate okay, you coming buddy. out, man. If you could do me one quick favor, no, man, no, just tap these go. two boxes for luck. We're going to try and break those open. If you could just look in that camera, man, my dad or Kimmy, if I don't do this, and tell right. my dad hello for me if you don't mind, man. Hello to your dad. Cool. All right. I appreciate it. Mr. Buckets, okay, thank buddy. you, man. You, you have a good it. time, man. Thank you for coming out, buddy. You got it. All right, guys, that was uh, Dick Buckus, NFL Hall of Famer. NFL Hall of Famer. What, what a... A privilege and an honor for me to be able to do that man that was that was great if you guys didn't get an opportunity to see that man we're going to go ahead and post that over onto uh onto youtube for you